Yeah, man, you just got to set boundaries, man. Like I told people in my videos and that when I talk about properties and sourcing tenants and that, I always say, I always tell them when they come for the viewing, if you fail to pay the rent, I'll serve you a notice and you have to leave. If you're free to say that, then boy, yeah, then you might as well put like a free rent sign on the front door, in it? Like if you're scared of that little bit of confrontation, blood. But you know what I mean? Certain men are just built for this thing better than other people. Me, I'm a man, man live and thrive off of confrontation. I don't give a fuck, blood. I go to tenants' houses, not my tenants. I work in people's houses that I don't know, yeah? And if they start smoking in front of me, I will ask them politely, do you mind not smoking around me? It's their house. I don't give a shit. I've had people kick off. I've had man pull out hockey stick. I don't business. I will still go to other people's house and say the same thing, fam. I don't care. You're not, you're not smoking around me. You, you, you need to respect me. Yeah, if I don't smoke, don't smoke around me, innit? Just because it's your house, you're not just going to do what the fuck you want. Nah, fam. Nah. Because when I turn up to the tenant's houses, yeah, I show them respect. Like, I ask them, yo, do you want me to put on shoe covers? You know them blue covers that you put on your shoes? Shoe covers. They're like, what? Nah, 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 it's all right. We're not posh. The reason why I do it, because some of them say, no, nah, thanks for, like, offering to put on shoe covers. Because I know what trades people are like. They're managing just walk in with their dirty boots and that. They're like, oh, thanks for um, offering and that. I usually, usually have to have a standoff with the tradespeople or I have to tell them and that. They ain't got manners and that. And I say, yeah, because no one's coming in my house without taking off their shoes. I don't wear trainers in my house. Nobody wears trainers in my house. Even my mum can't wear trainers in my house. So I just treat the tenant's house how I want my house to be treated. When I go to the tenant's house, I have deep, in-depth, off the record conversations with them, but I don't start, I don't swear in their house, you know. No, nah, the tenants, if they want to swear in their house, they can do what the, well, they can do what they want to some degree. They can swear in their house if they want, but I don't swear in, in tenants' houses. Because I had a couple of tradesmen come here and swear, I'm like, big man, no, nah, don't swear in my house. You, you're, you're a stranger, you're not coming to my house and swearing in my house. Yeah. So I just treat the tenants' house how I want my house to be treated. So it's not even about, like, I mean, it is about have, showing the tenants respect and that, but I just deal with people how I want to be dealt with, innit, so. And I said, when was the last time you splashed the profits? Do you know what I splashed the profits on? I splashed the profits on the next property purchases, stamp duty, blood. Yeah, that's what the profits go on, real talk. And I said, squatters rights the dumbest UK law, yeah, for real. Someone said, yeah, you um, you respect people's house, mate. That's it, yeah. It, it, it doesn't matter about the geographical location. You just got to respect people. It doesn't matter if it's your house or their house. I'll give you a lot of prime example. My little sister's 12 years old, yeah? In my mum's house, we don't swear around my little sister. I don't even swear in front of my mum. If I'm telling my mum a story and I need to swear, I will pre pre prepare her and say, mum, I'm about to swear. I just show my mom that sort of respect, yeah? So, and I ain't from some fucking posh house or nothing like that. But anyway, so in my mom's house, we don't swear in front of my little sister. Now, my little sister's 12 years old. Her and her school friends are on a bus, probably jumping around, swearing and that. Hey, if that's what they do on the bus, that's what they do on the bus. But hey, no way my little sister's swearing in my mom's house. No way. This is a black house, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> little kids don't don't swear in my mom's house. Anyway, so at my mom's house, we don't swear in front of my little sister, but that's at my mom's house. If my little sister comes to my house, I own this house. I pay the mortgage. I run things in this house. No one tells me nothing. My word is the last word. I have the final say, yeah? But even if my little sister comes to my house, where I pay the mortgage, where I run things, my little sister's in my presence. So I won't swear in front of my little sister. So I'm saying that it doesn't matter about the geographical location, 
I'm not swearing around my little sister because I respect my little sister's ears. That's what it's about, man. No shoes, no swearing. I'm telling you, some of these people, yeah, have no standards. Like, I remember, yeah, there was one mixed race guy that come to my yard, a gas engineer. Obviously, I put, like, some plastic covering on the floor because he was going to be in and out, in and out, in and out of the my house and that. So I just done him a favor. I put down plastic covering so he don't have to keep taking off his shoes. But at some point, he needed to go upstairs to check something, in it. I said, if you go upstairs, you need to take off your shoes. Do you know he asked me? Just as he was about to go upstairs, I told him you need to take off your shoes. He turned around and asked me, are you Muslim? What? Oh, so we need to subscribe to a religion in order to take off our shoes in our yard. Like, how are these people fucking raised, blood? Are you Muslim, you know? So you don't know my man don't take off his shoes in his yard. He'd be one of them man there lying in bed with his trainers on his fucking, on his fucking feet, blood. Trust me, I've, trust me, I've been to these tenants yards. The, um, the bed will be in the middle of a small room. And like, you know, you've got the pendant light that hangs from the cord, yeah? I will need to fix it. And I can't get my ladder in because there's just no space to open up and erect this ladder. And I'll say to the tenants, if I haven't already got shoe covers on, yo, I'll put on shoe covers. Can you get a little old towel to put on the bed or an old sheet to put on the bed and I'll step on the bed because there's no way I can't put a ladder on a bed. There's no stability and I can't open up the ladder because the bedroom is too small. They're like, oh, don't worry, just climb on the bed. I'm like, what, without shoe covers? Like, yeah, don't worry about the shoe covers, just climb on the bed. It's laundry day tomorrow. I'm like, God, I don't give a fuck. What? It could be D-Day. It could be Doomsday. Yeah, it could be Armageddon. No one's climbing on my bed with their trainers on. What are you talking about, fam? Man, talking about it's, it's, it's uh, what you gonna call it day to, um, tomorrow, laundry. They don't give a fuck if the, I don't care if the Russians were coming tomorrow, bro. I'm not, no one's climbing on my bed with trainers on. Yeah, it could be doomsday. It's still ain't getting on my bed with no Ross Club trainers on. I go to people's yards, I see cats walking all over the work surface and that. And you are offered me a tea, blood. Are you mad? I phone up some of these people, yeah? And I'd say, yeah, I'm going to get to you in like 30 minutes. Or I'm 10 minutes around the corner, whatever. And <clears throat> obviously I say to them, look, when I come, I'm going to need to switch off the power for like 30 minutes, yeah? Sometimes it's longer than that as well, but it just depends. I need to switch off the power for 30 minutes. Just so they're prepared, because some people are working from home, innit? And they say, oh, you need to switch off the power for 30 minutes. I say, yeah. They're like, oh, well, when you come, do you want a cup of tea? Nah, it's all right, mate. Yeah. They're offering me a cup of tea before I get there, before I'm able to scope out the situation and see how dirty the yard is in it. And it's always the dirtiest ones as well that offer you the tea over the phone. No way. No way. I see them, them people there use their, like they'll use the same spoon for about two years without washing it. And that's what you want to serve my, me my tea with. Must be crazy, blood. 